Why do you think Scholar Leader is important to the Miami campus? I've always thought it served two functions. Uh, first of all, I think, uh, and probably its primary function, is to really create a community where people enhance the lives of each other. Uh, the notion always was you would draw leaders from a lot of different fields, you'd have them living together, uh, there would be the cross fertilization of ideas, there would be debates, discussions that really would enhance each other's lives. Uh, but I also thought, um, you know, when you're on Virginia's campus, the lawn represents the very best. You know, it re represents sort of the historic history of that place. Uh, and so I think we had the same sense here. I wanted uh, Stoddard and Elliott uh, to be really a model for the whole university community of what was the best of academic and co-curricular co life on this campus. Scholar Leader is important for a number of reasons. I think that in the current moment, it's really important because Scholar Leader really represents, I think, the best and the brightest of students on campus. And so I think that they serve an example to the rest of the community of not only how to lead within their different communities, whether formally, in positions, or informally, and how they influence people, but also in terms of how they um, give back to the community and what kinds of service they engage in. I think that they also set an example for how to work across difference. It's just so different because, you know, we rely so much, you know, on the authority figure. I'm taught that, you know, when I go through training that it's the resident director that's putting, implementing the rules. It's the resident director that's putting in, like, all the policies and stuff. But in, within um, Starter and Elliot, it's really you guys that are doing that. And it's just so great to be able to see that, um, you know, student leadership really does work. The program really puts a lot of focus on social justice. And I find that to be incredibly important because it's something that gets overlooked a lot. And I think that Scholar Leader does a good job of um, including the community in that. How would you describe some of the values of Scholar Leader? Well, back in my day, um, I think they're probably the same, but the values that were really emphasized were um, the dedication to scholarship and service learning, um, leadership, interacting with people, I think learning to communicate, and not only with the people in the community, the scholar leader community, but also Miami, Oxford. Um. Um, well, I think, well, at least for me, the ideas obviously of self-governance have been, you know, so unique as a part of our community. Um, the idea that, you know, we are, we have 78 student leaders, but that they are our singular student leaders working on their own leadership philosophy. But then along with that is the idea of community and just how strong it is and how, you know, yes, they are individuals, but at the same time, we bring them together. You also like having a lot of trust in each other. Um, Cause like when we put on programs, you have to like know that the other person's gonna like do their part and um, just like really make sure that they do it. And also I think friendship is a big value. <laughs> what type of community activities do you remember? Probably the, the most ones that's been most consistent is some sort of urban plunge in January. And I think that was linked to um, how do you visit a city? How do you see how leaders collaborate in that city to try to make a difference? Um, how are they paying the civic rent? I think really we tried to pick people to visit who were gonna be models for the students currently in the program. My best experience was probably the WISE trip. Um, we did it over winter break and it was like four days we went to Charlotte and we had a lot of, um, we did a lot of like community service like um, the food bank and like the hospitality mm -hmm. house we worked there. A lot of just community, like small community events. Um, we had coffee houses um, every month or so where we would bring in um, a leader from around campus. Things like Emmy Smiles Day. I don't know if you all still have the Pac-Man and Ghost thing that you want to do, but I built the Pac-Man and Ghost with a couple other scholar leaders my first years. We had a scholar leader alumni ball um, and we brought back um, scholar leader alumni and then people who were still at Miami, you know, seniors or juniors who had done scholar leader the year before or, um, and then all the current scholar leaders. I think each year the sort of traditions in the hall have been shaped by the students. So I know one year they were very influenced by the Dead Poet Society so they would gather, you know, late at night and they would exchange uh, poetry that they had been writing. And the Thanksgiving dinner. The food was great. Uh, a lot of people showed up and I don't know, it was kind of, it was almost like Thanksgiving dinner at home for me. It was like we were with family. Do you have anything else that you would like to add? Just that I've learned that this community 
it's cheesy, but I think it's really true, is like it's much bigger than all of us. Um, I think it's, it's something that's really, really special, and you know, I'm just really lucky to be a part of it. I really think of the scholar leaders as those individuals who at some point are going to be sitting on the boards of different organizations and be making really impactful decisions that are going to affect people's lives you know, for the long run. Scholar leader changed my life. Um, I love it so much. I always say, once a scholar leader, always a scholar leader. I hope you guys are ready for retakes. <laughs> Uh, can you like really kind of be excited and like you're asking who she is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do I look at Shannon or what? <laughs> <laughs> I really like the scholar leader. <laughs> I think a big value is. <laughs> Dang it. Again, because I totally just. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Like, went through the. When was the Spanish American War? A. Oh, 1856. Gosh. B. 1898. C. B. 1901. Or D. 1891. B. Final answer. <laughs> you are the millionaire! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a long interview. <laughs> <laughs> Here at Scholar Leader, we like to uh, kick off the shoes <laughs> and relax.